What's going on YouTube? Uh, just a quick video here to talk about the wheel hexes. Um, if you're following along, you've seen my Trailfinder 2 build. It has the uh, different offset wheels and the narrow hexes. And that's what makes it tuck in so close underneath the body. So I was working on the Amigo and I had an extra set of the RC four wheel drive narrow hexes, which are these here. And oops, I just magnetized it. They are roughly four millimeter. But the Yoda two axles, if I put them on and tighten the wheels down, it doesn't work. Now this is the uh piece from the center of our 155 beadlocks and you see the hex is machined into the back so with the narrow hex it doesn't allow enough clearance between the axle and the wheel and it just clamps it on around it so you see that sits down in there flush so the edge of the Yoda 2 axle hits the part where the uh, lug bolts go through to hold the wheel together but I'm trying to narrow it because that, that truck's so short and those tires stick out pretty far and this is the standard hex that's on there you can see those are I don't know, not twice as thick but they're not yeah <laughs> so I, I sort of I need to have a set of these machined down, maybe two millimeter. I don't have the means to do that, and I don't know anybody that does. So short of uh, putting them on the sander, I gotta take them all off the wheels and <laughs> put it face down on a sander and shaving it down, which it may come to, but not tonight because it's like four in the morning. But having those machined down a little bit, because you're when you put your bolts in, they don't sit flush with this; they're still recessed in. So you have a couple millimeters you could take off of there and even if your lug bolt stuck out of here on the back side they would clear the Yoda axle it's just catching the very edge of this on the actual axle itself so that may be an option later to help narrow the the track width of the vehicle uh, but for now I have these I had off an old drift car they are slightly in the middle they're, they're just I mean we're talking millimeters here so I'm going to give those a shot on the Amigo and see if we can even notice any difference. Alright guys, that made very little difference. Just a, I mean, we're talking a mil and a half, maybe two millimeter. Um, I'm hoping it will help with some of my fender rub. Still hitting the bumper a little bit, but not too bad. Um, just the little things, I mean, to look for if you're replacing wheel hexes, they're not all equal. Um, there's lots of different sizes and colors, obviously. I've got some, uh, Tamiya ones that are twice as thick. I don't remember what they came from, but I was using them on drift cars to give it a little different stance. Um, but yeah, I, I hate taking beadlocks apart, but I may end up taking these apart and sanding those down. That's the only way I know how to do it. I wish I had a belt sander. That would be easier. Like a bench mounted one, I could just hold them on there, get a nice even finish. Um, I've got an orbital sander, I'll probably try with that. And uh, see, with just another couple millimeter, I mean, it, it doesn't look like much when you're looking at a tiny little piece of metal, but when it translates to a four inch tall tire, it, it, it's noticeable. Even that, that little bit that I did with those purple hexes, it uh, made a little bit of difference. But, uh, yeah, just thought I'd give you all a heads up about that. I'm sure others have encountered that before, but just a uh, FYI, a little quick tip. So, uh, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for more.